Welcome to the RSP NFL Lens. I'm Matt Wallman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Let's take a look at Carolina Panthers skill player, Curtis Samuel, running back, wide receiver, big play option, dirty work guy. Is this the year that he finally breaks through statistically, you know, maybe from a fantasy angle that many fantasy writers have talked about? I think under the auspices of Joe Brady and Teddy Bridgewater, there's a chance. You can see certainly here that... You know, we've always known that he can be this kind of a jet sweep player that they can use um, as kind of a, you know, a gadget guy in the red area as either a flat receiver or an edge runner. But they can do a lot more with this guy. And maybe that's why the promise is there now that they have a quarterback and a system that that matches well with him. Let's take a look. This run against the Falcons is a good example. You're going to see Curtis Samuel show some comfort with some tight level creases on this trap play. And to be able to work through that and navigate it well enough for an easy touchdown here. And you can see here, I mean, he follows this trap play pretty darn well, um, back, like he used to back in his days at Ohio State. Does a good job. This is a pretty wide crease, though. He gets through it, but as he sees the leverage to, you know, coming to his left by the defender here, does a good job opening the stride with his hips and sliding around with a jump cut and then finding that open space and finishing strong. He runs with a compactness that's very good for a player that is generally seen as a wide receiver. Now, ideally, the Panthers would like to use Samuel and, and Christian McCaffrey in the backfield at the same time so they can motion McCaffrey out, then maybe use Samuel on plays like this, like this power play. But Samuel's going to have to get used to running behind a lead blocker with tighter creases and be a little bit better at recognizing that these are good creases and that he needs to be patient and manipulate them a little better than what he did here because you can see 61 has this open crease if he gets through here he's going to be able to take on 35 and samuel can just hit that especially with the leverage of the inside defender you know over the 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 left shoulder of number 82 and also this outside defender being sealed off this is the lane here that to follow follow that gap blocker but he he's a little rusty here and i think he second guesses this and instead of taking this on he tries to cut back inside and he gets wrapped up he's got to be more disciplined the same is true on some zone plays where there's tighter creases he's going to have to understand that he has to like be decisive about hitting this crease here he is at the edge 67 is getting to the second level this is the crease behind 67 he should hit but he wants to press it a, a couple steps too long. And then when he tries to cut back inside, that crease closes. And now he has to try and cut back. And he ends up cutting back into traffic because there's nowhere else to go. Watch this one more time from this angle. You're going to see here, there's the crease. It's a tighter crease. But you can see that the leverage, the 64, 65, you know, the two linemen at the closest point of Curtis Samuel's entry point. They're all they all have the leverage advantage for him to hit this. If he can just plant that front foot, get downhill and hit this, he has a run all the way into the secondary and probably has Robbie Anderson helping out with the safety here. And this could be a touchdown up the sideline if he hit this correctly. So maybe he's a little rusty. Maybe zone wasn't really his the big part of his game, but if he can cultivate that, there's some real promise here. Of course, the baseline skills are there for Curtis Samuel, and part of that baseline for him is just being able to work over the middle and take contact. You're going to see him here from the slot, slot left, be able to work upfield and then inside with that nice little release, make the catch in a tight window, get low for the ball and take contact to his hip and still be able to make the play. So you can see, I mean, he makes adjustments, he takes contact, he's reliable in that respect. He's also become a receiver that Teddy Bridgewater relies on in broken play situations where he has to leave the pocket. Samuel works middle trips, works inside, realizes that Bridgewater's broken the pocket, comes back to help him out and makes the diving catch here. And that's a tough play because you can see that the safety is over top here when he makes his play and he has to dive towards that safety. But good job recognizing the situation here. And the fact that Bridgewater is looking for him and be able to work across the field and make this type of play, very reliable. And Samuel's also a bad ball catcher. You're going to see him here work on this over route and look at Bridgewater throw this ball behind him. 
and he's still able to make this catch. It's an incredible catch here on this play. And, you know, it's not just the athletic ability, it's the technique in combination with that. Because watch as this ball arrives and he has to stop and bring his hands up. And look how tight they are. The thumbs are tight together. Fully catches this ball with his fingertips at full extension, working the opposite of the break momentum and pulling that in and coming down with a great play by Curtis Samuel. And that's the thing with him. I mean, this is a guy that does a little bit of everything for this team. And there's enough weapons on this team now that he can be that fill-in-the-blank player for a very productive offense. I think he has a good chance to become that breakthrough receiver. Maybe not a top-tier guy from a production standpoint, but certainly someone that fantasy players will enjoy playing on a weekly basis as he and Teddy Bridgewater continue to get more comfortable and Christian McCaffrey comes back. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP NFL Lens videos, check out my YouTube channel. Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room at my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.